Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can create AWS organization structure using Terraform and CI CD using GitHub Actions. Okay, before I make you walk through the code and also show you the demo, let me quickly walk you through the pictorial representation of this demo. As usual, so here, here, this is the picture which shows uh, my demo. Yeah, um, here I contains two, it contains two big logos. Okay, one is the GitHub account, another one is the uh, AWS logo. Yeah. So GitHub account logo under the GitHub account logo, I have kept Terraform and the GitHub action. So that with that, that means that in GitHub account, we will be hosting a repo. So where I would be keeping my Terraform files. Yeah. Under the same GitHub account, I will have a GitHub actions as well. So under the, in the GitHub actions, so through which um, in, in Git, GitHub actions, uh, I have defined a, um, uh, the actions in a such a way that it will invoke my Terraform file and it will provision the required infrastructure in the AWS. Okay, so in the, in the right side, as you see, AWS is a big logo. Yeah, so under AWS, now currently I am going to create an organization structure. Yeah, so as you may be knowing that the, we use this organization structure, that is the AWS organization structure, to 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 um, um, to logically segregate your accounts uh, according to your requirement. Let's say uh, generally uh, there is a requirement saying like you need to segregate all your uh, child accounts into um, dev test and 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 production. Yeah. Similarly, I'm just giving a, a demo that how you can provision those organization unit and keep in in those organization unit how you can keep okay how you can keep your um, um, already existing accounts into those um, um, into those um, organization units so that you can segregate it according to your requirement yeah okay so so this is the uh, complete overview of the picture yeah so uh, in, in general that the pipeline is uh, the bottom pipeline will explain you like this yeah in i in visual studio code we will be developing the terraform code once we are done with the terraform code i will be pushing it to my upstream branch whenever i make my code push to my upstream branch they automatically the respect to github actions will be invoked so once the github actions invokes nothing but it will it will be it will be running the command that is the terraform in it um, uh, plan and apply. Yeah. So finally, it will provision our required um, AWS organization structure. Okay. Which which I am trying to show you in this demo. Okay. So with that note, let's go to the uh, code walkthrough. Yeah. So here you go. As you see in my screen. So this is my complete environment ready. Yeah. Where I have a Visual Studio Code and also in that Visual Studio Code, I have um, a cloned my GitHub repo. So this is my GitHub repo. Under that GitHub repo, so I have um, um, two um, um, GitHub workflows. Nothing but my GitHub actions. So one is the Terraform plan and the Terraform apply. Yeah. And also under the root, I have uh, two two more uh, Terraform file. One is the main dot Terraform file. So this is the Terraform file which contains my Terraform backend configurations and provider data. And also AWS OU. So this is the uh, Terraform file which contains the end to end information about how you can define your uh, OUs. Okay, yeah. So um, so this is this is my complete environment. Okay, so currently I'm in my future branch. I have uh, two branch. One is a main branch, which I denote it as a production branch, and the future branch is nothing but my development branch, where I will be developing my code. Okay, yeah. So that's it. This is the brief about my environment. So to know more about how you can set up the environment like this, please do refer my previous videos where I have explained everything from the scratch in regard to uh, to how to set up the uh, this environment. Yeah. And also kind request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. Okay. So with that note, let's let's directly uh, let's directly jump to this code walk through. Yeah. So here, as I as I explained, so it contains. So uh, for this demo, AWS OU Terraform file file is the main file which help us to create the AWS um, OU units. Yeah, that is the organization uh, OU. That is organization unit. Yeah, AWS organizations unit. Yeah. So here, um, so first one, you know, I, I already have an organization, nothing but I have a root organization. So, okay, under that organization, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a OUs. Okay, so I will set up the three OUs. Okay, so in this demo, let me show you that how you can set up those OUs using the Terraform. Yeah. So here, this is the block. Okay, this is the block which retrieves the data or which retrieves the information about our our existing organization. Okay, so everybody, as you know that whenever whenever you are creating an AWS um, subscription or whenever whenever you opening your AWS account, right? So in by default there will be an organization. Okay, so that organization itself I am using, and under that organization I am creating a three OUs. Okay, yeah. So first one, as I explained earlier, like we already have an base um, organization so that is root organization okay so under that root we will be creating three ous okay so first one to create that we need to have the your your root o, read organizations data right so so that data will be retrieved by this block so that is the uh, that is our data and this is the resource type yeah so that is aws underscore organizations underscore organization so this is the keyword or, or this is the this is the resource type in in, Terra, in terraform to retrieve the your organization details okay and then this is my variable uh, which will store the data for my organization okay 
yeah and after that so next i am creating um a dev um, ou so okay so this is the i will create an ou i name it as a dev okay so for this what i mean by this one means uh, i mean any kind of the dev task or any kind of um uh, the managing over dev environment so you can manage in this ou yeah okay so that's the reason i'm creating a dev um, ou here so this is the uh, code which does that yeah so again it's a resource and that this is the resource tab that is the um, aws organization underscore organization underscore organizations underscore units okay so this is the resource type which creates a ou unit in aws okay and this is the uh, this is the variable of this uh, block inside this flower bucket block we are giving the name so okay so as you see the name i have given as a dev okay and the parent okay the parent is nothing but it is referring to the same uh, data the data which i am re retrieved from the above block okay so that data will be consumed here okay so i am consuming the um, the id so okay as you, as you as you can see that it has the root and the, we are picking the 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 first root and this is the id which we are consuming okay similarly i am creating the uh, test ou and also um, trad ou in the same under the same um, uh, root organization okay yeah so here you go so the, all the rest rest code okay so again it is the same replica of dev as well yeah uh, this is also the same replica of the um, dev okay um, yeah so here um, okay so as you see right so this is all all okay if you see here so let me make you one one thing clear so here if you see the parent id right the parent id is nothing but our root id okay so so for all the three the parent id is again pointing to the same root okay so nothing but we are creating these ou's in under the root okay yeah so with that note let's let's directly go to the um, um, uh, go to the demo so let me uh, commit some changes okay uh, so let me do some immaterial changes here yeah and saving it okay so let me commit this change to my local yeah So I'm as you see here, I'm just committing. Okay, I'm just committing to local branch. Okay, so as you see here, I'm currently in my um, local branch that is future branch one. I have just now made some commit. Okay, immaterial commits to my local branch. Here you go. So there is an uh, upstream synchronization is there. Okay, so let me make an upstream synchronization so that the changes will go. So whatever changes I have made here will go to the uh, my upstream future branch one. Okay, so whenever there is a code push happens from the local uh, future branch one to upstream future branch one, they automatically um, I have one GitHub action with the name Terraform plan will be invoked. Okay, so let's go to the our um, okay our um, um, GitHub account. So before I go to the GitHub account, so let me show you. Okay, so this is my uh, this is my organization okay as you see here i have a root and i have only one account as of now okay so let me go to the um, uh, the the uh, the legacy uh, picture legacy um, dashboard of um, aws organization here you go so i have only one account but in the organizational account nothing but in under the ous okay i don't have any ous okay so once i make the uh, once i make the code pushes and run the github actions then automatically the os will be provisioned okay so let's go to the um, uh, our github account so here you go so this is my github account yeah and uh, under this github account so this is my repo and under that one i have two branches main and future branch yeah since we have just now uh, pushed some co code to our future branch one let's see if that has triggered um, a terraform plan github action okay so here you go uh, it has successfully triggered the um, uh, the terraform plan hyphen infra hyphen plan um, github actions okay so let's quickly walk through the uh, through the logs of this terraform plan so that we understand what actually it is doing Okay, I'm just expanding the Terraform plan logs. So here you go. In general, what it says, it's going to create, um, it's going to create three OUs. Okay, so that's what it says. It's going to add three resources. That's what it says. And zero changes and zero disturb. That's what our um, Terraform plan says. Okay, so let me make a note that the Terraform plan is nothing but it is just a draft okay it is not even provisioning the infrastructure okay to provision the infrastructure what you need to do is i need to make the uh, the terraform apply github actions to invoke okay so if i show you so there i have the terraform apply uh, infra release um, github action so to invoke that what i need to do is i need to create a pull request against my uh, main branch okay so that the changes goes to my main branch and and that github actions will be invoked okay so let me make that so i'm just uh, quickly creating the pull request and let me make a merge to that okay so yeah so why do we merge okay so let me uh, I, I think you might be having this question okay so because um, as i um, as i i have defined the github action in a such a way that so whenever there is a fresh code merger happens to main branch then only the terraform apply github actions will be invoked okay so that's the reason i am just um, i have just made the merger 
okay let's go to the github action and check our terraform apply github action has been invoked or not so here you go the terraform github action has been invoked okay so it's very a very small job it will be invoked it will be provisioned very fastly okay so let's let's wait for the terraform apply um, uh, actions to get complete yeah it's currently provisioning as you see in my screen okay so i'm just dive, lively showing you that how you can create okay so indeed it was very fast okay it has successfully provisioned the um, ous so let's go to the logs and uh, this is the terraform logs yeah terraform apply logs so here you go it has created the three ous that is the um, uh, prod test and dev yeah so let's let's go back to the um, uh, our um, github uh, our uh, aws account and see if the ous has been created or not okay so currently i'm under the uh, i'm in the ou aws um, organization um, dashboard okay so here i have one account in the organization account okay so let's see yeah here you go those uh, three organization accounts has been uh, organization units has been created yeah that is the test dev and prod okay so if this is the account okay i have one account i can move this account to test okay so let me show you that one as well so that because that serves the purpose okay let's say i want to keep this account to in a test okay we i can do it by using this command okay whereas there whereas there is a difficulty whereas okay so um currently terraform does not um, actively i mean not directly supports the movement of the uh, existing uh, um, um aws account to respective units yeah so that's the reason i have manually shown you yeah? and also you can automate okay it's not only manual that you can automate it okay so here you go under test i have now my account sitting in okay so that is the purpose okay you will be segregating your um uh, ous okay your 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 you will be segregating your uh, aws accounts according to your requirement or according to your uh, management level yeah that's it we have uh, um so before i wind up so let me show you the uh the latest dashboard okay how it looks in the latest dashboard okay so let's go to the new console so macros i mean aws has provisioned the AWS has created the um, um, uh, new dashboard okay, and that, that that dashboard is looking like this okay so if I open the um, test okay so under that one I have kept my uh, my account okay so I have only one account that's the reason I have shown you that so here you go under the root I have three um, OUs okay so that is test OU, dev OU and prod OU yeah that's it I have successfully shown you that how you can maintain your um, organization structure under the uh, in the format of organization unit AWS organization units so that you can segregate your environment accordingly and also that will help you to manage your account in a in a very um, very easy manner yeah yeah that's it uh, thanks for uh, watching my videos kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot okay uh, with that note thank you thanks a lot